I had just left the admission office from my school. I had been dropped of all my classes. I was trying to get re-enrolled so I could attend my first semester after graduating high school. And after no success trying to talk to all these different teachers, I get back to my car and there is a $75 parking ticket. At that point in time, I said, screw it, I'm done. I was officially a college dropout. When I think about how long ago that was, so that was 20 plus years ago, and I'm reminded by that because I'm actually sitting here in a hotel in LA. I'm about 10 minutes from the school that I was dropped from, and I think about where I was in my life. I was a college dropout, I was going nowhere, and had I let that moment define me and determine my future, then I wouldn't be here today. What's going on y'all? Welcome back to Wealth Hack Wednesday. And today we are hacking our wealth by not letting our past bad decisions, our past financial failures, all our failures, define who we are today and who we can become. I have made tons and tons of bad decisions. And of all of those though, I think about the ones that really changed who I was and really just changed the trajectory of who I was going to become and where I was going in my life, it was at Santa Monica Community College, which is just, I believe, like five miles down the road. I'm right next to the Staples Center here in LA. And I was signed up to go to school. My dad was a college dropout. He finally ended up graduating when he was in his mid to late 50s. And the last thing that he wanted to do was his son to follow in his footsteps and become a college dropout too. So I was determined to not become him and you know just take charge of my future and then uh, just through some other events I was uh, dropped in my classes and it was trying to get re-enrolled and there I was on a waiting list and tried to wait outside some classes it didn't happen no one was willing to take me in and when I went back to my car sure enough I had a, a like a $75 parking ticket when I didn't have a lot of money and I remember I was just devastated I was angry, I was uh, just pointing the finger at everybody else because it was everybody else's fault that I, I got dropped. And I went after that and did data entry. My mom got me a job at her, at her, corporate, uh, her corporate jobs. I was doing data entry eight hours a day, 40 hours a week. And like that, that, that's how my career started after high school. And the story could have ended there. It could have ended with me working 40 hours a week, making 10 bucks an hour, getting a 401k, and just never really maximizing my full potential had I let that bad decision define who I was. Yes, that was a bad decision. Yes, that was, <laughs> that was a bad, bad mistake. But I realized that just because you make bad choices doesn't make you a bad person person. Just because you failed once does not make you a failure. Just because you failed two, three, four, five times, it doesn't make you a failure. The one thing that you have to remember is that the people that are making mistakes are the ones that are actually trying. If you're not making mistakes, then you're not challenging yourself. You're not doing something new. If you're not making mistakes, then you're just playing it safe. And I'll tell you this, Wealthy people don't get wealthy by playing it safe. You've got to take risks. When is the last time that you tried something new that it didn't work out the way that you hoped or the way that you envisioned it? Did you just quit after that or did you keep pushing through until the end? Because one thing that I've realized that every mistake that I've made has been a blessing. I have learned a valuable lesson out of every single mistake and with all those mistakes, the reason they happened because I kept trying. All right, y'all, hope you enjoyed this Wealth Hack Wednesday. Until next time, this is Jeff Rose reminding you that it's your money, it's your life, and only you can make it awesome.